Okay, so here we all are with our first chat show on Loose Lips. Loose Lips! This is Sahar Hunedi, Hi. I'm Katrina Valenti, and this is Nick. Mr. Nick. Okay, I just want to say that we're not sponsored by anyone. No one has asked us. We are volunteering our opinion. And why are we doing that? Because we're over 50. Yay! We've done our research, we've had the experiences, we've been and there. we're here to tell the story. This is a platform for men, reasonably well-adjusted men, to come out and put their side of the story across. Absolutely, absolutely. And we've actually advertised, well not advertised, but posted um, on social media and no one replied. Is one that... person did, one person did. What did he say? He said he wanted to come on the show and uh, be interviewed, so maybe next time. Okay. <laughs> maybe he just wanted to date Katrina. <laughs> um, I'm not sure, because if you really have an opinion, you voice it. And the idea is not to get um, on anyone, it's really to put point of views across so that we can, men and women, can begin a dialogue and perhaps help to understand each other. Um, the world is full of misunderstandings, um, no one knows where they're going, what they're doing, everyone is whinging and we're tired of listening to people's soft story. Well, I am. Are you? I'm definitely tired. So if you don't like your movie, you change the script. And hopefully this will help you change the script. What do men want? What do men want? What do men want? So let's ask the guy that question. You know, I think men want simplicity. Simplicity. I agree. Yes, okay. I agree. I, I, absolutely. Okay, simplicity. Let's, let's define that. What does that mean? Um, somebody that is very basic, outgoing. Uh, they want a basic woman who's uh, outgoing? A very basic woman, yes. Basic absolutely. Woman. But I, I'm I, not basic. Sahar's not I'm basic. Definitely. I'm basic. And basic to my like what two arms, uh, two legs. To my, no, yes. Well, I mean, <laughs> not to uh, not to high maintenance, of course, or not Ooh. too needy, or you know, somebody that actually gets up and okay, you know, let's call that reasonably well adjusted. Yes, exactly. Okay. Absolutely. Sorry, I'm just a little bit nervous. So this is my first time. So I so want to know. Uh, sorry to cut okay. you off there. Yeah. I really want to know what makes a man a jerk. Why do you guys behave in such a jerk of way? Nice, beautiful. Why can't you tell the truth? Why can't you tell a woman, I just want to go out with you, I don't want to build a future, um, I don't care about commitment, um, this is a one night stand or whatever it is. I think, you know, women are adult now, they can take that. How about that? What do you think of that? I think we're hiding something. Uh, we're hiding... That's good. Uh, we're hiding the fact that um, you know, we're nervous and sometimes when we're nervous we don't know how to speak, we don't know how to talk and we don't know how to communicate yeah. very well. Yeah. Um, uh, yes, because everybody's attractive, everybody's beautiful in a lot of ways. Um, I think we're all do special. Think, do you think we're basing too much emphasis on looks? I think social media no. has ruined... Hang on, can I just say something? Yes. Mm -hmm. Men are made in a way that the physical attraction is first and foremost. Whether we like it or not, men are visual creatures. Wouldn't True. you agree? Absolutely. Remember, we just talked about if you're going through your teens and your 20s and 30s. But eventually, yes, so yeah. eventually you'll just realize you'll gain a lot more wisdom and you'll understand the reality and what we look for. Yes, I've said no. I've, I've got scared. I walked back. But again, the frequency wasn't there. My, I wasn't ready emotionally, or maybe I was. I don't know. But I've always That's believed. That's fine. But why can't be? Why can't we be honest about it? Absolutely. Why do we have to pretend that you know there's a relationship going on, or that the man has um, good intentions in mind? Uh, why does the woman have to pretend this is the man of her dreams? There's a lot of pretense. There's a lot of. Um, you know, we fall into you know pretty woman movie or or whatever it is. Absolutely. I don't know what the movie of men is, um, but a woman said that all men want is to have it all and not to give up anything, not to commit to anything. So freedom seems to be really valued for a man. But then totally, again, totally, but yeah, totally. but if they want freedom, then why have a relationship? Why get into a partnership? You have to be in a partnership where you're allowed to be who you are, and you cannot try and control that other person, you cannot, you know, you've got to respect each other for the differences and if you are, like you said, vibrating at the same frequency, then that should happen automatically. Well, in, in plain English, if you're both coming from the same place, if you're both on the same page, 
then it would happen. So are we saying, is this a question of timing? Totally. I, I, I disagree. So. I think it's a I question of no. awareness, how mature you are, or how aware that you are not mature, <laughs> and then you act accordingly. Yeah, yeah. but and then I that's think, timing, Sahar. That's no. another way of saying timing, because you both to do with time. Got, but you've both got to want the same things. Yeah, but it's nothing to do with time. You could be 80 and you're not mature. It's nothing to do with time. But timing for what you want in your life at this moment. How are you going to get at that point in time? If you don't know who you are and if you don't know what you want. Well, then you're not going to attract it, obviously. Exactly. And then they go on whinging. And I'm sick and tired of listening to the whinging. Well, you have to be, you have to really, if you want to attract the right partner, long term mm. life partner, you have to do the inner work. There's no getting away from it. I agree it has with to you. Be done. But do men do the work? Do men do the work? Uh, my opinion, I think, I think we have a problem. I think social media has taken control, uh, like dating sites, Facebook, okay. YouTube, in all respects. I think we have this image now that. Uh, this particular person uh, has to look, has to act a certain way. Really? Are now, men affected by that? Yes, I think men are totally affected because we're happy. For me, from my perspective, I feel like you know it takes a lot for a man to continue. You know what happened to the old days? What happened where you could just meet somebody and you ended up just taking a walk and talking very nicely and very calmly mm -hmm. and and then gradually taking that next step forward? You know, I believe that we've lost the simplicity of being a friend. We judge right away. We say that, um, you know, hey, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm only, in, I'm not interested in relationships, so don't get your hopes up, let's just say. Or, or, you know what, I just had a bad relationship. You know, okay, fine, we've all been there, like you said, Sahara and Katrina. But the thing is, give it a chance. You could come out as a good friend. You could but be a best friend. What are we talking about? How is a woman going to know whether a man wants uh, a relationship or does he want friendship? Absolutely. So what happens is the woman and the man feels it. After maybe the second or third date, eventually they will decide if they will continue uh, as being friends or not. But don't judge right away. And most likely, I think from my perspective, is that they will continue as being friends. And then maybe yeah, six months or a year men, later. How many men use a pickup line? You well, know, again, social media. So, how, how you do you tell? So that is the biggest media. cliche. Social, yes, yeah. but I social just media. Be yeah. Well, hey, guess what? It's non-committal. You know yeah. what? Or, or I'm married, but we're really separated, and we're gonna have a divorce. Oh, yeah, that's, divorce that's another happens. one. Yeah, yeah. The, what happened in healthy relationships? How, where, what happened to that general idea? Exactly. What yes, what happens? See, now we're all hiding behind something. Exactly. We, we, are, we don't know how to express ourselves anymore because we like... I think you've hit the nail on the head. I think people are hiding behind their own masks. Yes. And it's time that the masks came yes. off, guys. Yes. Guys yes. and girls. Because I'm totally against women who find a rich, handsome bachelor yes. because he's going to finance their life. I'm sorry, girls. But he's not your bank. Go work on yourself. Women see that as security. I mean, intrinsically, the male, the female energy is very Katrina, different. we but, can't but, have but, it both ways. No, no, but let me finish. Okay. The women are, have been, you know, brought up for the knight in shining armor, the prince charming story that we were all I told. I have you? Yeah, I was. For really? sure I was. And so my mother was totally supported by my father. So I grew yes, up thinking I can that I'll get a rich generation. man, I'll end up with a rich man and I won't have to worry. Well, guess what? That was they a wake up call for me. Yeah, absolutely. Because now, you know, I mean, I ended up being completely independent to the point where you don't need a man. And it's a false for sense money. of security. And that is my point. Because the I've more got, you achieve yeah. for yourself, the more that you have to offer, the more that you are less needy of finding the right per partner for their own reasons. But um, if I may say something, um, first of all, I, I, I have the most respect him. for females, independent women, because they came a long way. I really respect that. I respect the fact that they, they work very, hard, very smart and very hard to get what they want. And honestly, Sahara, I'm probably... I've known guys out there also that are actually dating an older woman or younger woman with money. Just oh, that's the interesting. Fact, Why? Yes, because they you know, they financial love, because support. they're they're financial support and being lazy. So I think it goes fifty fifty. Uh, there's men out there. And there's uh, women out there. I think what most successful independent women are looking for 
are very I, honestly I, I believe it's out there I think the simplicity the general idea of just you know um, I can't see when you say simplicity I don't know what you mean uh, uh, nothing, because not people are complex they're never simple uh, and well, their needs are complex and they're never simple simplicity is when when you actually are aligned both are aligned together so there's so you're no there's about no people yeah. being authentic absolutely and that's just about simplicity. people being real yes. Yes, absolutely. So what happens is there's no hard feelings. You know, if I didn't wash the dishes today, it's okay. You see, that's another um, thing. Um, you know, when it, a relationship breaks and people divorce, they want to kill each other. But anyway, why do we have to kill each other if we both decide we were to go separate ways? Well, because we don't know. We're not guided in the right path. We feel like our parents are the answer to a lot of things. And so then a lot are we of us blaming parents now? Yes, absolutely. And then a lot of us now leave our parents' path and then we're lost. And then of course we join yoga, meditation, then well, we you're go a on. Man. You not, know, not a lot of men do yoga, well, but well, you know, and, I give it to well, you. I'm, you really yeah, work hard on Thank yourself. you, thank you. But I, I believe it's out there. But do not, and you've always told me, do not reject what the universe has given you. So if I feel there's a relationship, I will continue. If there's going to be a friendship, then it will continue as a friendship. But we should have a mutual respect. So if that's I'm, a good point. Th that, that's Definitely amazing. It, it, it's, it's, it's amazing. It doesn't have to be complicated. It has but to I be tell like you where parents come in. I have a theory. If a man, if you want to know whether a man is good or not, look to his relationship with his mom. Totally, 100%. And the same to do for women. Yeah. Look women, at her relationship with her dad. A lot of people, <clears throat> women will be attracted to somebody like their father and men will be attracted to somebody like their mother and usually it ends up level. being a disaster. Yeah. <laughs> because there's something, you know, intrinsically wrong with both because our parents are our first teachers in life. Sure. And, and, you know, the biggest issues you have are with your family, they are your biggest triggers. Yeah. So this is why you have to look within, do the inner work, because you don't have to be your mother and you don't have to be your father. I think what you can take positively from parents is that if they really got on well, then you've got a role model. Totally. If they didn't get on well, you shouldn't let that cloud your vision. It should be more of an indication what to avoid in a marriage or in a committed relationship. But you know what, we're 2019 and still people are really colored by certain types of behavior, by certain expectations. It seems to me that they haven't really sorted out who they are. And before you sort out what you want, you've got to know who you are. If you keep covering things up, then you're just dressing the wound without really disinfecting it. Don't you think? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I think it takes a lot. I think there's, you know, there. Uh, we know that there's fate out there. Uh -uh. We know that. I don't know about fate. Oh, not fate. You know what? In the right you place and the right time. If you really... I, I no, that. no. You struck a thing here. Because a lot of women, a lot of my clients would come and say, Oh, it's fate. Oh, he's my destiny. How do you know that? If you subscribe to such a notion, you're going to believe it. I think it's nothing to do with fate. It's all about perception. Perception. How honest you are with yourself. Mm -hmm. um, how far you've done the work yourself so that you don't have to take shortcuts, you know, be it find a trophy woman or a banker man to kind of, you what know. What women do is they Actually, fantasize. Remember, in fate, it's not just you go in a relationship and then, oh, I just met this girl, I just met this guy, or, oh my gosh, you know, I love him, I love her, blah, blah, blah. It doesn't work that I think I get your way. point. So the point is, let fate take its course. It's mm -hmm. okay to meet people. It's okay to, to pursue it. You see, I'm you quite know. different from you. I wouldn't say let fate take its course. I would say why not? Because I need to be clear about what is it that I'm inviting into my life. Ah, absolutely. What is now, it that I want? But we also fate comes when you're clear. Yeah, that means if things happen, even freak your frequency and what you are attracting, the love attraction. This is where um, Sahar. You know, sometimes I've known people who were down on their luck. And they really felt really bad, but they were very humble about their situation. And then guess what happened? Somebody came in their lives and actually brought... Well, that's brought different. We're talking about men, fate. women. Yes, and absolutely. And how can they get along without blaming the other? Absolutely. And more importantly, I think, is how can we break that stereotype? You know, like men would joke about getting married, that this is the end of their life. And then, you know, five, ten years down the line, both men and women are whinging about their marriages. They want to kill each other. I'm just wondering, how did they get there? Were they forced to marry each other? I think it's Don't all about communication. Choice? 
people don't communicate. I think if there's clear communication by a couple, then you get a lot further in your relationship because no relationship is smooth. You have ups, you have downs, but you have to really look at the other person's values and you must yeah. have the same values. Yeah. And if you have the same values, that is a foundation for everything else to be built upon. But if you, you know, go into a relationship with someone that doesn't totally have the same agree. values, and this goes across the board in business, in love, totally in agree. friendship, it's not going to work. But how do you know what term. your values are? So talking about most women are precarious about establishing a friendship with men. That's what you are... Angling. I just believe that life itself is a miracle. Do you believe I think, that? Let's just no, go back 40 really years ago. Let's just say 40 years ago. Hey, wait. D yeah, no, I, yeah. I don't believe of going back to the past. Well, no. You know, I, there's a saying in England, the past is, okay, a, is a different fine. country where people did things differently. Absolutely. Let's absolutely. talk about now. No, okay. I'm saying no. I'm saying it all starts with the self. You yeah. get very clear about what you want and literally the opportunities will land at your doorstep. Correct. Why? Do. Yeah. Because there's something very attractive about people who are comfortable in their skin. Yeah. Doesn't matter how much money they have, it doesn't matter whether they're in or out of a job, it doesn't matter whether they fit into a certain stereotype. And I'm not talking about this kind of people. I'm talking about how do we know if someone is real, authentic. I like the phrase, which I took it from an author, of how to love and be loved. Um, how to be reasonably well adjusted. So we're not talking about extremes. We're not talking about people who are, you know, immature at 50. We're not talking about people who are influenced by social media. And that is my point. If you are an individual, if you have individuated, if you've caught the umbilical cords and you are your own person, then you know the qualities that you're looking for in a woman. And really, men and women, they're not much different. They and want someone real, <coughs> yeah. someone I think, um, that they can share their lives with um, and build a life. If that is not what you want, then it isn't what you want and therefore don't whinge. But don't let the other person suffer because you kept up the pretense that I want a committed relationship. But I think women need to stop chasing and they need to start being open to receive. Okay. Women have become yes. too much like men. And we're all I don't mind that. we're all living no, I think ultimately a man wants to be the chaser. No matter what they say, that's how they're built. I disagree. Built men are built, built to to reproduce. Women, both built women, to reproduce. Yeah, fact, but no, that's what but drives women, women, uh, um, no, finish your point and okay. then I'll say mine because so, I disagree. Because I think that women need to to come back more into the feminine energy and it's not about the but, way you look is, it's about is, something that's within you and and to be feminine is, is to be open to receive yeah, what and does so that mean? you know we we that doesn't mean you don't go after what you want <sighs> and i disagree with you because to, to a degree femininity to a degree. you have to action power. it but then you have to stand back and allow it i agree allow with you it. that they shouldn't push because women can be great manipulator. I mean, God knows if we want something, we really can go after it. But I'm saying a woman must not be afraid to show her power because you want a man who can appreciate that. Otherwise, he's not your equal. He's not your partner. That's what I'm saying. And if you look at mythology, esoterically, the women, the goddess, the warrior, the queen, look at England. Our best, our best monarchs were females. Victoria, Elizabeth I, look at Elizabeth II, um, Bodhika, there is nothing wrong with women who are strong and there is nothing wrong with chasing what you want but there is something wrong of being addicted to chasing without knowing what it is that you're chasing. That's it. So I, I like that and do we still have that tradition where people call women call men is it on the 29th of February? Yeah. And they're allowed to propose? Yeah, yeah. I think that's gutsy whether you're a man or a woman to go after what you want but I'm also agreeing with you in saying not to be aggressive. For me, it's not a men lot of wives of these executive men ended up divorcing them and marrying the lawyer because they were just jumped from one bank into another. And that really disgusts me about women, you know. To me, if you make a commitment and no one pushed you into it and you went into it eyes wide open, then you are honoring yourself by honoring your commitment. And to me, that is what um, going through thick and thin is about. 
But more, but most, a lot of women these days stay in a marriage because of the finances. We go back to what I'm saying. You're supposed to be the best possible person that you can be. You're supposed to express your abilities, your talents. Granted, some women start a family. The man should be honoring that. They should be in agreement before they get into it. But then she needs to get a life as well. To me, people get married because they're attracted to each other and then they get lazy. They settle into their relationship and when they both become really really boring and then they start asking for a divorce and hating each other's guts and who do you think notices that children children are not idiots you're feeding them something you're raising the next generation and they're going to mimic and what i think done. the worst thing you can do is stay together because of the kids yeah that doesn't work it poisons the system don't you think it show you're showing your children <laughs> Uh, exactly how to, to put up and show up. behave in a relationship which is wrong. You know what? The universe provides options. For what do men want? Yeah, what do you want? They you want to, and, and I'll tell breakfast. you what men want. They want to be the knight in shining armor. They want to be praised for the things that they, they want do. to be a hero. I read yeah. that. I they believe do. that they a want woman to be a knows person, they hero. Do. By the way, she Maybe wants to that's be. the instinct as you were saying that's like the basic instinct for men you have to always to thank a man when he does something to for feel you. like thank a hero him, say yeah, thank I you totally you're agree. amazing i love Actually, it and, and then they want to do more for you it's yeah. in all the books. <laughs> Look, I, 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 I've never did it to anybody. I've never actually sat down and I cooked for a girl or nothing like that. Why not? Why not? But the thing is, well, my I just, dad used to every again, Friday make the again, best breakfast. It's for the all family. about timing. Again, you know, you know what I've been, you know, it's we all have timing. a past. It's not it about is. timing. No. I've changed, and you know what? Because now I understand Look, life and the universe person, and and the frequency that I have. No, it's it's about actually showing me are. love. It's showing me love. And so that's why I started well, doing I'm things for myself. I'm going to give you myself. your shortcut to timing. Yeah. Do you want a shortcut to timing? You know who you are. And if you know who you are, be that person all the time. Yeah. And then the other person slots in. But it's nothing to do with age. It's, not, it's to do with awareness. And be aware whether you're being true to type or true to yourself. There's be a yourself. Men love a woman that's herself. And men it love natural do. women as well, you know. Where are you guys? We want to hear from you. It's like, but when I, I've spoken to quite a few guys lately, and younger guys, and they hate plastic surgery, they hate so makeup, they you know. And, and, they, and, and they make fun of how all yeah, women look the same now. Yeah, you and know, like, same plastic but we, we think, we, I think a lot of women present ourselves the way we think men want us to look but it's just naturally you know what my husband used to say always women dress for other women they don't dress yeah. for men because I they're think thinking about true. other women they're thinking you know are they going to see me in the same outfit or not are they going to see my gucci handbag or not but he's quite right because men don't see women in that way yeah they don't and it's funny i think when they come to commit then they want somebody who's real true you know not a plasticky person it's about the personality at the end of the day it's not about your looks again you have to love yourself before you love anything well, in let's the world. Say you have, you to, have to give up like i Thousand said i was just percent. giving i'm giving you a simplicity i'm giving you what simple is enjoy life when you get up and you start doing things for yourself exactly. and your partner be real. and they be, be real. real so i love making breakfast because guess what it makes me feel good but i'm not going to go end of the day or after a fight or say hey you know what don't yeah. you remember what i used no we need to stop that because when you start doing things you love yourself yeah. you have the right frequency you know what everything comes together because it, it's really give and take relationship it could be a silent you know uh, you know mind to mind kind of thing where you I, can I think we're building up an idea here yes if you're not clear about what you want you're gonna pay the price basically Absolutely. no totally. you're gonna hate yourself or hate the person that you're with and or you the relationship is gonna are. teach you how you, to be better yeah um, you better. always attract what you are so you know be your best self always work on your inner self and you'll attract you know what you want in your life but if you don't want to do the work and yeah. you want to stay moaning and complaining Maybe. and bitching that's what you're going to attract. Maybe wow. men think that women don't want to hear the truth. Maybe they give us this, you know, fairy tale, you know, I'm swept off my feet business because they think that women can't handle it. But guys, wake up. It is 2019. And you will find that women can take it because 
most reasonably adjusted women prefer honesty, yeah. prefer authenticity. I'd rather somebody tell me the truth yeah. than, and I didn't like it than yeah. lie to me. I've always respected people, not just men, Anybody. men and yeah. women across the board that have given me the God's honest truth, even yeah. if that, it's not what you I can want to hear. With what you're because given. then you know that you can always trust that person mm. to give you the truth, and that means and a you lot. Know honesty what, um, is everything. A man has told me once that every relationship is like a bus. Before you get on, you need to know what the destination is. And there is honesty, no matter how harsh this sounds, at least for you, you must know what the destination is. So that there's no wrong, wrongful expectation, there's no disappointment, you're a man or a woman. Well, Let's be real. No, they the say right after three months, no, you need to know things not the right, start to, to know reveal the themselves. Properly. Is that bus going to a one night stand? Is that bus going to a relationship? Is that bus going to a friendship? That's what I'm talking about. Well, all three things Because are very damaging. It can actually damage the relationship. You see how negative you are? You're starting with the damage. I'm being positive. I'm saying, what is it that I want? If I want only a friendship, I'm quite clear that this is a friendship. Yeah. And then the other person slots in. But it's nothing to do with age. It's, not, it's to do with awareness. And be aware whether you're being true to type or true to yourself. There's be a yourself. Men love a woman that's herself. And men it love men natural women as well, you know. Where are you guys? We want to hear from you. It's like, yeah, uh, you know, I mean, we, um, about the video. We women spend so much not. time looking pretty, doing their hair, doing their nails. But when I I've spoken to quite a few guys lately, and younger guys, and they hate plastic surgery, they hate so makeup. You know, and, and, they, and, and they make fun of how all yeah, women look the same now. Yeah, you and know, like, same plastic but we, we think looks. we. I think a lot of women present ourselves the way we think men want us to look but it's just natural Actually, is you know what my husband used to say always women dress for other women they don't dress yeah. for men because I they're think thinking about true. other women they're thinking you know are they going to see me in the same outfit or not are they going to see my gucci handbag or not but he's quite right because men don't see women in that way yeah they don't and it's funny i think when they come to commit then they want somebody who's real true you know not a plasticky person it's about the personality at the end of the day it's not about your looks again you have to love yourself before you love anything well, in let's the world say you have, you to, have to get up like i Thousand said i was just giving i'm giving you a simplicity i'm giving you what simple is enjoy life when you get up and you start doing things for yourself exactly. and your partner be real. and then be real. be real so i love making breakfast because guess what it makes me feel good but i'm not going to go end of the day or after a fight or say hey you know what don't yeah. you remember what i used no we need to stop that because when you start doing things you love yourself yeah. you have the right frequency you know what everything comes together because it, it's really give and take relationship it could be a silent you know uh, you know mind to mind kind of Thing, where you I, can I think again. we're building up an idea here. Yes. If you're not clear about what you want, you're going to pay the price, basically. Absolutely. No, totally. You're going to hate yourself or hate the person that you're with. And or you the relationship is going to teach you how you, to be better. Yeah, uh, you better. always attract what you are. So, you know, be your best self always. Yeah. Work on your inner self and you'll attract, you know, what you want in your life. But if you don't want to do the work and yeah. you want to stay moaning and complaining Maybe. and bitching, That's what you're going to attract. Maybe back. men think that women don't want to hear the truth. Maybe they give us this, you know, fairy tale, you know, I'm swept off my feet business because they think that women can't handle it. But guys, wake up. It is 2019. And you will find that women can take it because most reasonably adjusted women prefer honesty, yeah. prefer authenticity. I'd rather somebody tell me the truth yeah. than and I didn't like it, then yeah. lied to me. I've always respected people, not just men, Anybody, men and yeah. women across the board that have given me the God's honest truth, even yeah. if it's not what I want to hear. Because given. then you know that you can always trust that person mm. to give you the truth. And that means and a lot. Honesty what, um, is everything. A man has told me once that every relationship is like a bus. Before you get on, you need to know what the destination is. And there is honesty, no matter how harsh this sounds, at least for you, you must know what the destination is. So that there's no wrong, wrongful expectation, there's no disappointment, there is no need to behave like a jerk, jerk, whether you're a man or a woman. 
Well, let's be if real. That bus people. crashes. How are you going to be able to handle? Oh, it? the bus can crash anytime. Ah, absolutely. So when it anytime. does crash, how are you going to be able to get up and pick yourself up? What happened if you think you made the right decision? Well, and I then think there's nothing. Well, they I say you know. nobody they knows know. where you're they going. They say the right after three months. No, you need to know about the right. You need to know the destination. Themselves. Is that bus going to a one night stand? Is that bus going to a relationship? Is that bus going to a friendship? That's what I'm talking about. Well, all three things because are very damaging. It can actually damage you see how negative you are? You're starting with the damage. I'm being positive. I'm saying, what is it that I want? If I want only a friendship, I'm quite clear that this is a friendship. Because this has actually happened to me. Somebody pursued me after I met the love of my life. And I said, please, respect the friendship that we have. And understand, if you can't handle a friendship, then this is over. And guess what? He became a very good friend to me and to my late husband. So there's nothing wrong by you outlining what the destination is. I'm saying it's wrong to mislead people somewhere just because you think this is what they want to hear. Mm -hmm. And then what men tend to do yeah. is they get off the bus so quickly before you know, anybody knows what hit them. That is not right. That is not responsible. That is not being real. And then it's the push-pull, you know, you come towards them, they come yeah, towards you, and then one like of them runs away, and the other one's like, it's a boring what happened? Dance. It's like, grow up. Yeah. Be clear with who you both, are. To Don't be, be afraid to, both, to stand in your up. power and yeah. be who you are. Yeah. And then there will be no games. There yeah. doesn't have to be any games. Yeah, I totally agree. Well, that's quite positive. Shall we guys end there? And then we look to your comments. What do you think, guys? I, I just would I would like okay, to end something real something. quick. I, yeah. I really I, I love people. I appreciate everything's happening. Like Sahara Katrina said, it is 2019 and I think we're definitely going forward, not going backwards. Okay. I think my advice, my advice to myself is that we just need more to calm like down a little bit. We need to actually go out there and look and be more observant and more quiet. So we know what we want out of life. See, that's interesting. That's, well, that's, that is a th feminine th quality. Th that's, that's, for me, I believe then you can make the right decisions. Observe. You can fall in love in the right time or wh whatever, whatever Sahara and Katrina With the right say. Person, the say. right person. Yes, we all have these tendencies where we just want to jump, you know. Yeah, we want to get married, we want to have a boyfriend, we have a girlfriend and so on. So um, I think we just, just be relaxed. Let the universe help you out because the universe is there for you and enjoy your life. It doesn't matter if you're after money or you're after, you know, whatever it is. In two words. It all belongs to you. What's your nugget of wisdom, Katrina? My nugget of wisdom is uh, Brave heart. be yourself. Be yourself. My two words is be real. Everything else will settle around that. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you for watching, guys. Give us a thumbs Thank up. Thank you. Subscribe. My channel, Sahar Hanedi Palmer, it's called Soul Talk with Sahar. And Katrina Valenti number one is Instagram. I'm on Katrina Valenti Facebook and Twitter. And let us know what you and would YouTube. like us to rant about. Okay? Look forward to, to the, the comments. Next one. Bye, Bye now.